Day 2020. This is one for the ages because out of all that globe that has been suffering under this pandemic, there is one piece of it, and that is the state of Minnesota that I am the most proud of. This is why that is Dr. Jacob Tolar, Dean of the University of Minnesota Medical School. He, along with leaders from the Mayo Clinic, state health officials, and Governor Tim Walz, celebrated a Minnesota medical miracle today. Together, they announced they're ready to test as many as 20,000 Minnesotans per day. We have team coverage tonight of this testing breakthrough. We start with Kent Erdahl and how this is going to happen. Kent? Well, Julie, the answer to that is unprecedented teamwork. Of course, the governor has made no secret that he wants to try to reopen the state using testing and tracing, but the state can't do it alone. So the Mayo Clinic, the U of M, and healthcare providers across the state are all pitching in. This is a good day. This is a glorious day. Beautiful weather aside, the good in this day comes from the promise of changing times. We are no longer to be seen in this state as victims of this pandemic. And this is a state that's going to lead this nation and the world out of this. The plan that we put in place should allow Minnesota to be testing at a rate higher than any place else in the country and potentially the world. Governor Walls says we'll get there thanks to a new partnership with the University of Minnesota and the Mayo Clinic, which starting today opened their own coronavirus testing labs to providers across the state. To really come together in a very rapid fashion to help us address collectively a problem that we can't overcome by ourselves. With $36 million from the Minnesota COVID-19 fund, the Mayo and U say they will start processing 8,000 tests a day within a day or two, while working up to 20,000 tests a day within two to three weeks. Maybe less. I'd rather underpromise than, you know, overpromise and overdeliver and underpromise, right? And with the capacity now available, MDH sent letters to providers today making one thing clear. And saying every symptomatic Minnesotan must be tested as soon as possible. The state will also add more intensive PCR and antibody testing for vulnerable populations, congregate care staff, health care workers, communities of color, and critical infrastructure workers. Multiple providers say they're already working to meet the demand, likely with a return to drive through testing centers. Will it be there tomorrow? No. Will it be there in the coming days and weeks? It will. We're also going to be building, and this isn't ready today, but I hope it will be in the very, very near future, uh, a website to show where all the testing locations are and a call-in capability so that if somebody's having a problem, they can call a number and be told, well, yeah, um, unfortunately, that, that spot is showing red today, but go here. For now, anyone with symptoms is urged to call their doctor with the promise that answers will finally come. The anxiety that comes with not knowing whether you are positive or not is as contagious as the virus itself. And it's one of the phenomenal gestures, you know, in this, that we can alleviate that anxiety with science. Of course, the next piece of this reopening strategy is contact tracing, and the Minnesota Department of Health said today they are working on it. They've added now about 100 case investigators. They said they hope to add even more rapidly in the next few days. Very good news today, for sure. Thank you, Kent.